All right, everybody, welcome to Virtual Bourbon. My name is Steve Akeley on a company called the ABV Network. It's nice to see a couple new faces on here because we do have some folks that haven't attended these before. I'll do a little bit longer intro than I normally do. Normally, we just go right into these. We have a lot of folks that attend a lot of these events with us, but I own a company called the ABV Network, and that's we primarily known for podcasting. So we've got two of the top three podcasts out there that are bourbon focused. So we do one called The Bourbon Show, which is uh, a little bit on the serious side. We do interviews and things like that twice a month. And then four times a month, we release really smaller shows where they're just discussion based, where we talk about some topic from bourbon, like could be if it was related to today's topic, we might be talking about age statements and uh, why are they being dropped off labels and stuff like that. So we just debate bourbon stuff. Uh, and then the other one that we've got is called the bourbon daily. It literally comes out every day and uh, it's a little bit more on the fun side. So it's kind of like a radio morning show type of thing, I would say. And uh, usually about 30 minutes and um, we, we sometimes play games. Sometimes it's serious. Sometimes it's just joking and uh, it just, just depends. So, uh, but we also do some other things. We've released some movies before we have our own e-magazine called bourbon Zeppelin. We have a couple news uh, letter type of things that we send out via email. So we do a lot of different stuff. All of it bourbon focus though that's really what we what we know so we we kind of tend to focus on that we also do a lot of these type of events different tastings and things like that so it's been nice to see some new folks coming in and, and learning about who we are and hopefully uh, we'll see their faces return that's ultimately the goal we, we want you guys to have a good experience have some fun and join us for more of these things our topic for today is uh, virgin bourbon. So uh, I like to always do a little bit of background about these things. We have an event like this and virgin bourbon is one that is not very well known, even though it's owned by a very large company. So Heaven Hill owns virgin bourbon. Um, what's unique about it, though, is it's only sold in two states. So it's sold in Alabama and North Carolina. And you might ask why that is. And I don't officially know the answer uh, for that. I mean, there's a couple reasons why they might do that. Um, what, what, they, what the company says, and that may very well be the reason, they, they may be you know, 100% truthful about this, but there could be other factors in it as well. But what they say is uh, Max Shapira doesn't like to, to lose sales. So, uh, you know, if they've got a market where a bourbon has done well and then they acquire it through, you know, acquisition, they buy a, a brand. And if it's selling even, you know, a couple thousand cases a year in North Carolina and another couple thousand in Alabama, uh, they don't want to give that up. Uh, you know, a lot of times uh, these bigger brands like this will buy a brand that is a competitor and discontinue it, assuming that when they do that, that they're the, the uh, people who can't find that anymore will then gravitate towards their product. Well, Heaven Hill doesn't like to do that because they feel like if they discontinue it, that 2,000 or 5,000 cases or whatever it is, is just gone for good. It doesn't, you know, maybe even if they see an increase, they probably would think in their uh, a different Heaven Hill product, like, we would have got that anyway. We, we've lost those 5,000 cases. So they, uh, what Bernie Lubber says is they like to, to keep those around and, and just as long as they're making money with it, as long as the, the, the income is greater than the expenses associated with those brands, they'll keep them even if they're low volume and just for a couple markets. Another reason they might do it is, of course, if you have a brand, you have to utilize it. And you will lose it. And as I look through Virgin Bourbon, I went through the trademark file for it. And it was a brand that was started in 1961 by Old Boone. Uh, so which was actually owned by the Dance. The Dant family is a famous family of Kentucky bourbon. And uh, famously, Steve Beam, who runs Limestone Branch, is related to the Dance. And um, they, they actually uh, started the brand in 1961. And... Um, they, they had it all the way until 1971 uh, when a fire uh, burned down. They had a, uh, um, a boiler blow up and started a fire at the distillery. And uh, when that burned down, they did not open back up. So that just went out of business. Heaven Hill acquired that brand. And, uh, you know, I think the big thing that came out of that was J.W. Dant, which is a brand that Heaven Hill has. But they had Virgin Bourbon, too. And uh, it looks like they let the, the trademark lapse at some point. So they weren't using it. So, you, again, you have to use it. You have to come out with product. You can't just say buy a brand and say this is my brand. No one else can use it. You have to actually sell the product. Otherwise, if you, there's so many years of it not being used, they, uh, it will lapse and, and just become available. And maybe that's why they keep it available in a couple of markets. Then they are showing use, even if it's low volume, they are. And maybe at some point they think eh, we maybe we'll turn this into a bigger thing. So I don't actually know the story, but 
Um, what's kind of unique about this is it was an age stated product all the way until 2019. So it literally had how old the bourbon was. And I guess at one point they had four different offerings of it. They had the seven-year-old, which we're going to be trying the seven-year-old tonight. They had a 10-year-old, a 15-year-old and a 21-year-old. And again, it was just sold in those couple of markets. And it was also used at one point as an export. They would sell it in Japan. Uh, I don't think they do that anymore with the Virgin brand, but uh, at that time they were selling that brand in Japan as a, as a, something for the export market. Um, you know, one of the things that happened and that may have led, I think, to the age statement dropping in 2019, let's not forget, Heaven Hill had a, a brand of bourbon. It was a six-year-old called Heaven Hill. It was very popular. It was sold only in Kentucky, and it kind of had a little bit of a cult following. Um, I may, Yeah, I've got a bottle here. So, so this bottle here is uh, that Heaven Hill brand that, that was very popular, and it was, you could buy this for about $12. And it was one of those bourbons that people uh, in Kentucky loved and, and felt was special because, you know, it was just for them. But uh, when people would go into town that outsiders, especially when they're driving, uh, people that are part of bourbon clubs and stuff like that would, would take orders uh, for, for this. So I know that I from St. Louis, when I would go to Kentucky, I would tell my friends I'm going there and they'd be like, Oh, pick me up six bottles of this or a case of this stuff. And uh, just because it was cheap and good, and it was really a great value. But in it, in uh, I think 2018, this got discontinued and it went away for a while. Then in 2019, it didn't come back, but a new brand came back called Heaven Hill Bourbon and it changed age statement from six years, which this is, to seven years. And of course, I think that Heaven Hill having a, a seven year age stated product, which is the same mash bill uh, for about $12 in Virgin Bourbon, uh, probably caused a problem with the new brand, which retails about 45 to $55. So uh, it did lose that age statement. It makes some sense. Uh, even though it's a very small volume, you could see where people would say, well, why are you selling this for, for this price? Well, kind of like you used to sell your old six-year-old, but now you've got a, a product that you're selling, you know, say exact same year, seven year for, you know, five times that amount. So um, that may have led to the, the, the age statement being dropped off. Of it. But again, we don't know. That's not a story that they, they tell or anything like that. Um, another thing too, that uh, you'll see if you, you see the bottles of Virgin Bourbon, it says that it is charcoal filtered. And I do want to talk about that a little bit, because I think a lot of times when we think of that, we instantly think of Jack Daniels, because Jack Daniels runs through that charcoal mellowing process that they call it at the end. Uh, the, the official term for it, the, you know, is the Lincoln County process. And uh, what that is, is after the bourbon is, has been uh, finished, uh, before it's bottled, so it's aged, and they then run it through, uh, you know, big stacks of kind of big pieces of charcoal, you know, that are from sugar maple trees and they run it through that. So it's almost like a, a last filtration that they do. Um, this charcoal filtration is different. So this is, uh, again, that's more used on the bourbon side. And for those of you that have heard of chill filtration, chill filtration is a process where they chill uh, a bourbon and some of the, uh, because it comes from corn, there's some fats in there. So some, some that, that are, aren't visible to the eye, but when they get cold, just like if you put bacon fat that was warm and you put it in the refrigerator, even if you leave it on the counter, it's going to solidify. Well, when it, it when you get bourbons that are lower proof, 80 proof, 90 proof, and you get them out and expose them to cold weather, maybe you've left it in the car and you go and get it, all of a sudden you get it and it's cloudy. Well, that's, that's those fats in there. So they do a process called chill filtration on a lot of bourbons and they will actually take those fats out of there and uh, they'll chill it down and solidify it and then they then they filter it out of there uh, it also takes away flavor because if you think about fats that adds flavor to everything just like it does in food it's going to add it in the liquid as well a lot of people don't like chill filtration but charcoal filtration uh, is part of of that when it's when it's utilized so they take this ground charcoal not like the big pieces like i'm talking about with jack daniels gets filtered through so that's going to be you know not big pieces but little chunks probably like this and this is more like coffee ground size that they, that they use with this charcoal filtration they actually put it in the liquid they they chill it down and those fats adhere to that charcoal so then that's easy just to scoop that out and then they, they remove that and that 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 becomes part of the filtration process so it's different than than what uh what jack daniels goes through so it's not the same even though it kind of sounds a little bit alike it is not if you if you look at the different 
uh, processes. So I thought that that's definitely worthy to note when you're talking about virgin bourbon. So this uh, product, again, has been available just kind of, again, um, I was talking to some folks today that, uh, that, have, that have bought some in Alabama. I've never been to Alabama myself. I've got a friend that um, drives through there and will pick it up from time to time. But I was talking to a guy that uh, goes down there himself as he drives through to on vacation. And he says that the store owners said people will drive from all over, you know, Ohio and, uh, you know, from way far away down to get virgin bourbon. So, uh, and then same thing, they buy big quantities and take it back to their uh, friends or club members or whatever so it does have this unique aura about it and i, I guess just because it's a, a good deal uh, even at a good deal driving all the way from ohio to alabama to get bourbon you got to really buy a lot i would think to to make it worthwhile but maybe they're down there for something else too so um but uh it had the the, the h statement until 2019 it is now off and we're going to try tonight and see if we can detect which is which so if you got two samples, they should look like this, which we're moving away from my hand labeling that everybody hates. Uh, uh, Justine here, who, who works uh, for me, is going to be doing printed labels for everything from now on. But for right now, these are vintage. These are worth money because they're, they're my old handwritten labels. So <laughs> <laughs> this is, I, uh, I announced this. Way. I do a, a newsletter uh, called Quick Bourbon Notes. And I wrote about this because I said I love these because I, I it's, just, it's it's like an art. You, you, you create something, you create these events, and this is almost like signing the event, I feel. And I, I wrote in there that, you know, uh, because a lot of people give me a hard time. They're like, it's not professional. It's ugly. Your writing's terrible. Uh, all these things. And so I wrote about it in that. And I said, you know, I, I, we're going to all uh, coming up. It's a transitional time. There'll be some like these that are in, but there are others that already have the printed labels. Um, eventually, they'll all be printed labels. And everyone was like happy and all that. Other than my mom, my mom, who's on our distribution list, she emailed me and said i would actually prefer the handwritten labels so i agree with you that uh, so my mom one person on my side was my mom but uh, <laughs> we still go to the printed version so they'll be nicer moving forward so let's go ahead and let's go pour, ahead and pour both of these we will try these together we'll kind of we'll we'll go through and we'll we'll nose them we'll taste them we'll, we'll share what we're getting off of these and uh, and we'll go through twice actually so uh, we'll, we'll go through the first time and sometimes it changes a little bit over time. So we'll run through these two times. And I think the first uh, test is always to do is to, especially when you're talking about age, because what they're going to tell you uh, when, when they take an age statement off a product, they're always going to tell you the product tastes exactly the same. Uh, we have professional blenders who, who thou blend to taste before they're not before. It's not so much about the taste. It's about if we get the right age products in there, blend them together, they're going to even out and it's going to taste exactly the same. Uh, every time we do a batch with a non-age stated, they are then tasting, they're blending maybe some older barrels, maybe, maybe there's some 12, 14 year old barrels in there, but they've also got some younger ones, maybe some four year old barrels and stuff like that. But they say if they put them together in the right amount, they'll get the exact same flavor profile, but they can save some of that older stock for other products where they make more money. So, but one of the first things we want to look at too, as we do these is hold them up side by side and look at them. I'd say it's pretty close. I don't know. It's you got different glasses, so. Yes, I do. Which one? Do, do you feel one looks darker than the other? Darker than I look at it from here, but it could be the glass. I think A might be a, just a tiny, tiny bit darker. Tiny. Yeah. Yeah, maybe they're both they're both kind of amberish. I mean, they're they're pretty pretty close. I'll say that. So that's that's yeah, always the first thing you want to look at, too. <laughs> It has nothing to do with taste, but it's it's a good idea to when you're when you're looking at something because typically the older something is, the darker it is. It's it's pulling colors from the barrels and things like that. So that's that's the first thing we want to do. I, I'd say it's the 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 shade difference that maybe this are, are could be even found in, in age stated side by side because they're always going to be slightly different. So I, I don't think there's any real indicators there. Uh, even if they are slightly different. So let's pick up A. Let's go that one first. We'll keep it easy. We'll go A first. What are we getting on the nose on this one? 
I would say it's definitely good. Sweet, right? Real sweet. Real sweet. It's candy-ish. I mean, a little bit of cherry. Cherry, yeah. Yeah. David, how are you? I didn't get to say hello to you as we started there. Good. That's good. What did you say about the on the nose? She she asked if you were tasting it or just smelling it. Just smelling it right now. It's just smelling. It's got that traditional caramel vanilla. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say the classic uh, bourbon notes are all represented there for sure. All right, let's give this one a, a taste here and see what we think. A little tiny taste and see what we got. Hmm. Taste of cinnamon now. A little cinnamon, yeah. It's It's got some spice and kick to it for sure. I didn't smell the cinnamon at first either. No, I tasted no. It. That's always weird, right? You would assume that anything that you know is you're going to get on the taste too, but not necessarily. I didn't detect any cinnamon on the nose either, and it's certainly yeah. there. What else? I think it tastes a little like Dr. Pepper. A little like Dr. Yeah. Pepper, okay. Yeah, I can see that too. Well, I don't, I don't know what Dr. Pepper tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a different assignment. I have to try some Dr. Pepper now. Please. Please I'm with Mr. Pibb. Yes. <laughs> I think that, uh, I mean, it kind of has like a little baked good taste in there as well. So I mean, kind I, of a, a red hot candy, um, candy apple instead of a caramel apple. Like a red hot candy apple. Yeah. Yeah. You taste caramel. What, what was your, I'm sorry. I, you kind of cut out there for just a second. Caramel. Caramel. Taste a little caramel. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Brown definitely. sugar. Brown sugar. Yeah. Brown sugar is good. Aaron, anything on you on the? My audio doesn't work. <laughs> okay. It's really buttery mouthfeel. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me put my chat on so I can see that better as opposed to, there we go. I got the full, full chat on. Darn it. Old computer. Gotcha. Gotcha. You can share tasting notes via the text or the chat function too. That's, that's it does work. Right. David, how about you? Any 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 notes that you you get of note on the taste? I mean, we've shared certainly a lot. Any anything different or? No, um, I don't have a very discerning tone. <laughs> um, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. A lot of master distillers, you think that. Uh, you know, master distillers are, are that way, but you know, you, you talk to somebody like a Parker beam who was uh, worked for heaven Hill for many years, probably made what we're drinking right now, maybe. And uh, you know, you, it, it tastes something like, like that, or you go back um, uh, Jimmy Russell is a person too, who doesn't uh, never pull, like we're talking about notes, caramel and cinnamon. And all he, he'll tell, That isn't in there. You're not tasting that, uh, but he'll tell you what he likes and doesn't like. And there's nothing wrong with being a, uh, you know, I like this and I don't like this. So, you know, it's there's nothing wrong with that. So, I didn't put any of that stuff in my bourbon. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, those guys like to say that for sure. Kent, how about you, man? Anything, anything coming through for you on this? I didn't put I, other than the the normal bourbon flavors, the vanilla and the caramels. Uh, I get a little bit of toast. Um, mm -hmm. It's got a little toast flavor on the back, but that's that's about it. A good mouthfeel. Yeah. Yeah. Got great legs. Yeah. Yeah. It definitely, yeah, you see that on the side of the glass for sure. Uh, so it's, it's definitely a solid, solid uh, pick. And again, we're, we're talking about a retail price of around 12 bucks for this. Mm -hmm. So that is, Real that's, that's, that's a, that's a good bourbon. Uh, whether this is the, the seven year old aged dead or non aged dead, that's a good $12 bourbon for sure. That's a, that's a value. No doubt about it. What was it said to mention the red hots? Cause that's what I'm now tasting. The red hots, with the red some, hots, somebody, I can't remember who said that. 
Melanie, she's not on the camera though. She's oh, okay. re recovering from surgery. Normally she's right there, but uh, she's just a hand right now. It's like uh, from uh, uh, the Adams family. She's comes crawling in, says hi, and <laughs> crawls back out. <laughs> so gotcha. yes, yes, yeah. I taste the red hot. Okay, all right. So, we so live just outside of Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Maybe we need to go to our ABC store tomorrow and buy a bottle. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> you, you're one of the markets where you can get it. So absolutely, absolutely. Why not? Yeah, get it and I let know. me know. Let me know what it, what they charge in North Carolina. So okay. I, I I know some folks in Alabama, but in checking the website, they say it's North Carolina, Alabama is where you get it. So, um, yeah, yeah, that'll that. That'll be interesting to, to hear. So cool. All right. We are going to come back to that. It's always good to, to uh, taste, go back, uh, that type of thing. But let's let's switch over to B right now. Get a quick drink here. Cleanse the old palate. Oh, thank you, Paul. Then <laughs> let's, let's try no. B here. Let's start with the nose. This one, for me, I'm getting a lot of vanilla on the nose on this one. I think it's much lighter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the first nose on the other one is just kind of a was a sweet candy like one. This one to me is I'm, more I'm, I'm more earthy. Or something. I, I can't put my finger on it exactly, but it's a little earthy. Mm -hmm. a little earthy. earthy. Yeah, earth yeah. That's mm -hmm. what I said. Yeah, earthy. Yeah. 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 Interesting. All right, let's give it a taste and see what we think for B. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to make an idiot of myself, but I'm almost tasting a slight hint of almost bordering on mint or something of that nature. On mint. Too. Okay. No, that's that's good. Mint is one of those uh, flavor profiles people like to find in their bourbon. It's a highly coveted, so that's good. But like an old fashioned. Mm -hmm. Kind of like an old fashioned. Yeah, it's got oh. sweetness to it. It does have a sweetness. I got a little orange peel. Little orange peel, okay. Anybody else get banana? Mm hmm. I get banana on this one. I didn't catch banana on the first one, but yeah. And again, going back to that vanilla. Kind of the circus peanut it's that combination of you know vanilla and and banana i was smelling apple apple mm -hmm. kind of get a little brown sugar on the taste brown sugar yeah tim when you say apple is uh specific kinds because sometimes you know uh, uh green apple is, is a little bit tartar a little bit different right. than red, red apple i mean and I don't, I don't taste or smell. I don't. It wasn't a taste. It was more the smell. On oh, the smell, the smell mm -hmm. in the apple, and I don't. It wasn't the tart flavor that was making uh -huh. me really smell it. Mm -hmm. But I don't get the taste like I was smelling. Right. I don't taste the apple like I was smelling it. Yeah. David, what are you thinking of this one? Uh, uh, as we as we go through this one, seems a little hotter to me. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It does. I, I would. I would agree with you that this one comes out mm -hmm. a little bit hotter. Um, it kind of stays hotter. The the other right. one. The other one had the, kind of the hug, you know, where it's it is warm, and it was a nice, just warm. Uh, it kind of stayed with you a little bit. This one, I agree with David. It definitely comes out on the on the hotter side. This is spicier. Right. Spicier, yeah. It, it lingers for a while too. It does. Yeah. It yeah. kind of kind of that uh, that stays with you for sure. Kent, how about you, man? What do you think on this one? Me? On the, yeah. on the smell, I got like whipping cream. Whipping cream. Yeah. That, you, that's, you know what? I, you know, that's good. Uh, that's that's why we like to do these. I, I, I'm i with you on that, but I it, didn't catch it. It's more of a round vanilla. I mean, a, a fuller mm -hmm. vanilla flavor is what I'm getting. The taste, there, there's something on that taste. I'm not quite sure. Um, Neil said bananas and, and i don't want to jump ahead with with your conclusions yet but I, i'm kind of, I, I i get what he's what he's tasting there um and, and i'll hold i'll hold further comments till later 
Okay. Yeah, we will be voting at at, uh, at a later time in this thing. We'll, but we're going to come out. We're going to go through back one more time just to make sure we have it down, and then we will then we will make those decisions. Uh, Aaron, I hate to leave you out because I know you can't talk, but uh, you can you can chat or text in uh, any any notes you'd like to share. Uh, I'll, I'll talk to the legend as you're doing that. We'll allow you to work <laughs> privately and quietly as I talk to the legend here uh, about his thoughts on this. Mr. Legend, what do you, what do you think? Uh, like I said, I, I think it's spicier than the first. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A, a tad lighter in color. Mm-hmm. Are both of these at 101? Yes. Yeah, they are both 101 proof. The, the proof did not change. Which was interesting. It feels like that 101 proof belongs to Wild Turkey. It feels like they own that. <laughs> Anytime you see that, you know, even uh, oh, yeah. Maker's Mark has a 101. It's like ah, that's Wild Turkey's number. Yeah, that's their proof. So yeah, it's got a it's got a nice one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, before we go back to A, we'll go to Mr. Bill here. Mr. Bill, what do you think of this one? A B here. I like this better but one of the things that i noticed different between the two visually is a has a little more like sheen to it or gloss to it mm-hmm. and uh, i guess b if you were holding it up looking at it by itself doesn't look bad but then it looks almost just a tad bit cloudier than a mm-hmm yeah, but, yeah. Uh, I, I'm going to want to say it. I like B better. Okay, okay. It visually sticks to the glass more than A, which is a good thing. Uh, you like that viscosity to be thick, and then it kind of coats the palate a little bit and allows you to, to identify more flavors because it'll stay, just as it's staying on your glass, it's going to cover the inside of your mouth too, which allows more time for the flavor receptors to pick up those different flavors. So uh, you, you typically are looking for a, a nice viscous bourbon for sure. For sure. That's some right. pepper flavor to it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's go back to A. Uh, Bill, uh, he's, he's given us his opinion, but we're not going to lock him into that. It could change. Sometimes we found by going back through one last time, uh, opinions do change. So we will, we will um, go back to A. Check that. Anything different. Some, and sometimes it does change a little bit because some of that alcohol that's sitting on the right as we pour it kind of goes away dissipates a little bit and allows a little bit different flavors to come out i'm getting a baked <laughs> apple on the nose of a now okay i agree with you that's that's good there, there's definitely baked and baked apple could be the, the what i'm searching for for a name for that so that's that's good definitely sweeter sweeter mm-hmm. almost, like a, almost like an apple crisp apple crisp yeah <clears throat> I'm yeah. thinking waffles with maple syrup. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You smell those waffles? <laughs> yeah, I do. They've got they've got butter on it too. I feel. Just extra butter. <laughs> <laughs> they're, 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 I like the waffles. It's, this could be our breakfast bourbon here, folks. Maybe we finally found what the breakfast bourbon is. It could be this one. We've been searching for this for an excuse why we're drinking bourbon in the morning. It's, it's a breakfast. Bourbon. <laughs> Your waffle. Smell it. It smells like waffles. <laughs> so I used to work at Big Boy, and that was <laughs> along with the strawberry waffle. We used to. Like, I, I've known Justine for a long time. First of all, I've never heard the Big Boy story before, so this is good. <laughs> so there, they did have another one on the menu where we put like cinnamon apples on the waffle with like whipped cream. Okay, so, so there you go. There's your waffles yes. and your apples. Right there. <laughs> it's all there covered right there. <laughs> Let's go do a barrel pick of this virgin bourbon. We'll get this one and we'll call it a uh, big boy uh, apple waffle. Because <laughs> <laughs> you always got to name your barrel picks these days. So that's, that's, that's the big thing. So, okay. All so right, let's you that cinnamon, it's cinnamon waffles. Mm-hmm. Specifically cinnamon waffles. Okay. Where is this distilled at? 
This is distilled. Uh, it, it actually is distilled in Bernheim, which is the uh, the facility where Heaven Hill uses now. So uh, it has a little bit of an interesting history too, in that uh, obviously that it was distilled um, in um, at two places that that burnt down. So uh, you know the uh, old Boone burned down in seventy one, and then it moved to Heaven Hill, and uh, that that burned in ninety six. But now it's it's distilled in Bernheim, which uh, was the old, yeah. So largest suburban distillery in the world, a single location. And they're not the biggest distillery, but uh, the biggest biggest single location. Steve, do these have the same mash bill? It tastes like B. Maybe is a little spicier or has more rye to it. No, they uh, they've got the it's you know they don't disclose it, but uh, they uh, it supposedly have the same mash bill. Supposedly, okay. so. Oh, you never know in bourbon. If you learn about mash bills, like uh, uh, the ones for um, Buffalo Trace, they'll tell you that, uh, you know, uh, mash bill number two is Blanton's and all that. And then every once in a while, you'll see a barrel where it's mash bill number one, because they say they do it by taste. So if they, they taste it, even though, you know, one's a higher right content than the other, they will switch these up. So in bourbon, things aren't always what they appear either. So, yeah. Could you take 15 seconds and explain what a mash bill is, please? Or if it's oh. if book later, if you wish. Sure. So, so mash bill is basically just the recipe that is used. So when we're talking a bourbon, it has to be at least 51% corn, but then it can be any other grain in the world uh, that the remaining 49%, you could do all the way up to hundred percent corn and still make it bourbon. You just have to age it in a charred new oak barrel. It has to be made in the United States. So there's some other rules, but long as you follow all the rules, it can be bourbon. So the mash bill is just the, basically the recipe. And um, this, this recipe would be, uh, uh, rye would be the secondary uh, ingredient. So corn, at least 51%, then rye, and then usually there's some malted barley in there as well. So it's typically what uh, the, the base three ingredients. And then sometimes that rye will then be switched with wheat, and those are known as wheated bourbons. Uh, those tend to be a little bit sweeter. This one, you're getting the spicy notes. The rye tends to be a little bit spicier. And, gotcha. Uh, Whereas the wheat is a little bit sweeter. So that's going to, that's going to be you know, the secondary grain that's going to kind of drive some of that flavor profile uh, because the base is going to be the same. The corn is going to be the same in either one, but uh, that rye or wheat can be the a big thing that changes it. Thank you. Sure. Sure. All right. Any final thoughts on a, before we move on solid, they're both good. I like both of these. Yeah, so it's going to be it's going to be tough. It'll be a, a matter of personal preference when we get to the, the next part. But OK. This one on the nose. For me, the bananas is a little pronounced now on the nose. Is anybody else getting more bananas? Than, I, I didn't really get bananas on the nose before. It was a little bit on the taste side, but I'm getting a, bananas on the nose now with this. Anybody else or is that just me? Yeah, what I was saying is a hint of mint and maybe it's bananas is, is more noticeable to me now the second go around here too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what's so interesting about this is it will change like that. It will evolve a little bit. So, yeah, yeah. Kind of getting more of like an allspice. Allspice, okay. The second time around. Yeah. Yeah. It almost kind of has like a waxy note to it. I don't mm -hmm. really know how to explain that. Waxy, okay. Wax, is it waxy in a good way or is that a bad way? I don't know. No, it's not bad. It's, okay, it's, okay. It kind of reminds me um, of the like the candies that I had when I was younger. It's like the wax with like they were like in the shape of like a pop bottle, and right. had, like the liquid in the middle. Oh <laughs> yeah, those. Yes. Yeah. I think we all had those when we were kids. You'd bite the top <laughs> off. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Drink that liquid. Yeah. So cool for some reason. I have no idea why that's popular at all. Shut on the wax for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> In color, yeah. it's not the nature. <laughs> when you buy those as an adult and they there's no flavor, it just stuck. So that, yeah. <laughs> so weird. Yeah. I feel like the spice builds in the in B mm -hmm. more. Yeah. I, like that. Mm -hmm. I think they'd both be really good mixers. Yeah. I agree. Or neat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think you could drink these neat for sure, which is great. Yeah, uh, but but they could be. They do feel like they've got enough oomph to stand up from both the proof 
the 101 proof is going to be an indicator. It's going to be decent yeah. for cocktails, but the flavor feels like it would come through for both of these in a, in a cocktail for sure. So, and I'm good. noticing that it does have wicked legs on it too. I mean, mm -hmm. even more than I know, yeah, 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 it has yeah, one for sure. And they mm -hmm. stay forever. Okay. Yeah, I definitely had legs. The other one didn't so much. All right. Just give you a final, feel free to go through, okay. taste them side by side, whatever you have to do to make the decision that we're about ready to make here. Uh, I'll give you guys just a couple minutes to do that. Make those lock in your final votes. We'll be casting those in just a second. Here. I got mine. <laughs> I just really like that mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. Interesting. All right. Six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine. So we should have it here. All right. I like to go just in the, just so it's easy to keep track of the order that uh, you guys are on my screen. It's not, it's different for everyone. I do, do know that sometimes people be like, wait a minute, did you skip me? Uh, uh, I found uh, <laughs> the presenter side is different than the uh, guest side for some reason. I, I have no idea why, but on my screen, Rick Brenner is the first one on there. So Rick, I'm going to ask you, what is your favorite <laughs> out of these two? Uh, I'm going B. B. Okay. Okay. All right. Rick Brenner has locked in B. Kent Mace, you are next up on my screen. I'm an A guy. A, okay. A has tied it up. I like this. Back and forth, back and forth. They're looking for five votes here. We got nine on, on this, so looking for five votes to take the victory here. Mr. Barton. <laughs> I got to go with A. A, okay. I like A better. A has come roaring back. It fell down one zip. Now it is up two to one uh, in that. So next up. Uh, Jack's computer. So we got two two votes here. So, Karen, you go first. I'm an A. Karen, Karen is first. She goes A. Okay. And Jack, how about you? Uh oh, at the risk of destroying domestic tranquility, <laughs> I'm going B. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Does that mean this is mine? Yes, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. Not, uh, oh, yeah. You know what? I'm counting and I forgot about Melanie off the camera. We do have to, I, I, I will only vote in the case of a tie. Uh, I don't want to vote though, because I know I'm not doing it blind, unfortunately. So I really don't want to vote because I'm not, I'm not, it's best to be done blind. So uh, Melanie, we're going to ask you first. Okay. It's close for me. It's like 51 to 49, but I think a, yeah, yeah I agree with you. These are both really good. Yeah. And, and again, $12 price tag. They're they're yeah. really really good. Good bargain. Yeah, we should have had this on our bottom shelf contest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's I do agree. it again. Yeah, we'll, we will do it again. We'll redo it, and uh, yes, we'll make sure this is in the mix. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, Neil, where are we at here? You're going to have uh, peace in your household, or, or what? Where, where I, are you I, I, I said I said a first, and and I'm about the same way though. It's it's just barely to the a. So just barely yeah, I'm gonna go with A. Okay. All right. So here's where we're at. We're at five to two. A is on the verge of taking this thing, but it does need that six votes since we now officially have uh, 10 possible. Uh, so, all right, Justine, you're next. Um, yeah, it's really close. I'm glad I own both. Um, <laughs> although I kind of, now that I've drank them, don't really know why they're pushed to the back. They're going to get moved to the front. Um <laughs> I, I'm going to go with B. She's going to, she's going to give B life in this game. Uh, B is down five to three, but still is, is uh, on, on in the mix here. Bill, what do you think? You said B earlier. So B. B's, B's counting on your vote. Okay. Here's where we're at. We're at five to four. Uh, Aaron, we need an A or a B. Uh, we know you can't talk, but uh, we'll see if this comes in via the chat function. Hopefully. Maybe she's not there. We don't know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe she's taking a McNew. 
Yeah. <laughs> you know, famously is leaving the shows in the middle of the shows to go use the restroom these days. And usually what, what, and it's fine, whatever you got to do, but it's always like, we're doing like a bracket contest. It'll be coming down. Like there's five people. I'll go through the other four. Then I'll get ready to say McNew. And I see her get up, leave, hear the bathroom door close. <laughs> like we're in the middle of a show. <laughs> <laughs> at least do it after your turn and then there's four people to go you know so, so. uh wait aaron is really doing the due diligence here maybe or or maybe she's dropped off i don't know i don't know maybe she could put her video on and do one for a and two for b <laughs> yes something Thank aaron help us he's still thinking we're on the verge of our seats here Right, let's take a quick commercial break. <laughs> so it's a good TV show. It's always like the most exciting time. I'm watching Chopped or something. They'll be like, and the winner is, and he starts lifting up and then it goes to commercial. Uh, they do a good job of that. All right. I don't know what to do. Aaron, Aaron's maybe go. Uh, she's still connected. She's still connected. Yeah. Yeah. But she, maybe she's took a phone call or something like that. Yeah, maybe uh, she had to step away for a phone call or something. Yeah, something. So, yeah. Well, if she comes back, we're, we're, here's where we're at, five to four. Uh, so it's close. It's close. So, um, hmm. Well, you could vote, and then she could be the tiebreaker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, think Steve, I think Steve's going to vote for A. Yeah, I agree. I, that's that's what I was going to vote for, but now I'm thinking maybe I'll vote, just vote for B, and then if Aaron comes back, then since she's in the hot seat. She's in the hot seat. <laughs> decision. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. And next step is the mystery. Okay. Okay. So. Anything else? Any uh, overall? It's, oh, you guys yeah. checking like the ABC site to see if it's on there? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Here we are. It says up. Uh, um, We've got two different $25, but then I, there is another website for North Carolina and it does say $13. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing is I would, I would look more detail on that $25 one. Cause let's not forget. They did have some 10 year old, some, some 15 year old and some 21 year old. If you find one of those older ones, that would be well worth getting. I don't think they make those anymore, but you know, you never know if you find some old stock somewhere. No, 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 it's 24.95. Yes. But they both say seven years. They're, yeah. Okay. They're, what, what is the age? Can you see the age? Oh, seven years doesn't mean. Well, it does. I'm sorry. Of course it does. Seven, seven years. Okay. ABC store. So it should be the same price the in every same. ABC store. Yeah, that's what I always thought. Though, the benefit of having the situation yeah. where you got ABC stores yeah. is the same price. Yeah. Right. It's got weird. two different codes. What what one says? Oh, okay. Means you, you, nothing to me. One says NC code twenty five four sixty one, and the other's NC code twenty five four sixty two. I don't know what that means, but I know that it also comes in a handle. So one point seven five liter, uh, the large size, you know. That's probably uh, the difference. They, they do they do two different. Yeah, one point seven. Yes, it's exactly at one point yeah. seven five is a twenty five dollar. Yeah, yeah. That that, 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 that pricing exactly would make sense for that then. Yeah, that, that's a bargain okay. for either one of these. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, get yeah. your get your handle of it, especially if it's a seven year old. Get a handle of that. That's discontinued. So, yeah. Yeah. It is a seven year. Yeah. That's cool. Small. Excuse Store. me. I get let me up. Sure. Sure. We uh we were interviewing one guy for one of our shows this week, and uh his cat was demanding to come in the room. Wait till you hear this thing. And he just I didn't think he think we could hear it because he was wearing you know <laughs> my gosh, we could hear it. this cat's just pounding on the door screaming. Rawr, rawr. <laughs> so great. We were all afraid to say I finally said something, but uh, he didn't hear me then. I think the cat was too loud. He didn't hear me say something. Like he went let the cat in. But yeah. So we this had the good fortune of going um, to Buffalo Trace Distillery. We okay. Went and, uh, okay. Yeah, a few years ago and stuff. And we just fell in love with Buffalo Trace. In North Carolina, it's like next okay. impossible to get it. Really? Yeah. I'm a buddy with one of the, the folks that work the ABC store. So he calls me and saves me one bottle of Buffalo Trace when it comes in. He goes, it's here. Nice. Come get it. Nice. Get it behind the door. <laughs> Maybe I do I love Buffalo it. Trace as well. It's a great distillery. It, 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 uh, yeah. And you got to get a Freddie Johnson tour at some point. He's the, 
uh, the Hall of Fame tour guide from Buffalo Trace. Oh, and, uh, awesome. Yeah, he's a great, great guy. De- definitely next time you go back, look for Freddie for sure. Look for Freddie. Yep, Freddie is, he's, he's a legend. I, it's, uh, I, uh, it's amazing to think that a tour guide, I, I bet you at least half the people there are looking for Freddie Johnson. It's, it's amazing how important he is to not only his company, but the industry too. Freddie is, he's beloved. So. And he's so, and, just an awesome hey, guy. Yeah. He's do, you a, have, very good. do you have problems in different States getting Buffalo trace? What, yeah. where's, where's everybody from? Uh, yeah, kind of all over. Um, you can't hear uh, it in Kentucky. Yeah. yeah. It was in Kentucky. Kentucky? It, it's it's we're in Kentucky and it's hard off and on yeah it seems like we'll have a glut of it for a while and then that'd be hard to get yeah. we are they in st louis some of us some yeah. of us are in st louis like uh, the legend there and tim barton and myself we're, we're st louis folks and uh, you know what's really weird about it is it's allocated in the liquor store so if i go to total wine more than likely i'm not gonna be able to buy buffalo trace at the grocery stores it's open. I can, I can go to my local grocery store and it's 15 deep on the shelf. It, yeah. It's amazing that uh, they, they, how they allocate that product. I don't understand why they do that. And I, I'll talk to total wine and say, why don't we have any Buffalo trace? They're like, Oh, we can't get in the end. They won't sell us. And I'm like, you should go down to Schnucks and buy it. It's, right, it's on the shelf. <laughs> go buy it there. Yeah. So. North Carolina, they like one or two cases per every couple of months per hmm. ABC every, every three months i think they only get a few bottles it, it only comes in every three months and each, each store only gets maybe five or six bottles it's and crazy. blanton is the same blanton oh, yeah. is very hard Blanton's is that's about impossible that's to everywhere. find anywhere these days yeah that, is that's it? a tough one okay. yeah yeah <laughs> not to be dis- disparaging or anything but I, I went back to a and uh it, it kind of has a um horse barn smell <laughs> no <laughs> it does. it's gone all the way downhill from apples and caramels and cinnamons and now it's a horse farm horse piss <laughs> yeah. well, I, hey, I come on sure. no no i disagree with that i disagree <laughs> with that. bill bill was, must have pre-gamed i think i think that's what's going on there no. i don't know i'm still no. i mean I, well, like- I think everybody should change their vote to b now Everyone, uh, he's definitely trying to sway everyone. Uh, I guess we're. I, I hate to. I don't know when to call it. Check here. with Aaron again. Yeah, Aaron, if you're there, if you let he us know tried, what you like better, A or B. We tried messenger messaging her. B. Uh, she said B. I heard it. <laughs> she said B. <laughs> Aaron, a, comes, a comes before B in her last name, so it's got to be A. <laughs> right, and if A is a horse horn, it's a sweet horse horn. Oh, no, there you go. Yeah, voice is a lot deeper than I really imagined from the picture. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, okay, it's, it's unfortunate. I don't know if I should reveal yet. You know, I feel as soon as I do the reveal, she's going to be here. Uh, like I'm here, I'm here. We'll give her. We'll give her a couple more minutes. We'll chat for a couple more minutes. Then, we, then we got to We got to move on. We have to. We'll have to announce uh, who. What's what? So. Bill is definitely, uh, he's all in on the B for sure. <laughs> he's vested in this now. <laughs> yeah. A just, uh, just like a horse barn. Okay. Okay. It's a sweet horse yeah. barn. Yeah. <laughs> so Bill and I are, we're going to do a cross country road trip to go pick up a barrel <laughs> of bourbon, which is the craziest thing. A barrel of whiskey. It's actually not bourbon. It's whiskey. <laughs> uh, we're going to drive all the way to Colorado to go get this. So, um, that, that should be that should be interesting. Bill and I will either be best friends or hate each other by the end of this trip. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yes, um, the uh, the the cool thing is I don't know if you guys can see this on here or not. Let me see if I can. Yeah, I should be able to do this. So uh, the, the, the distillery is called Deer Hammer Distillery, which is uh, cool. A friend of mine owns it. His name's Lenny Eckstein. He owns Deer Hammer. This is the, the label for it. It's hickory smoked whiskey. Kind of hard to see. Mm. But he just put in for to the TTB to redo this label uh, that he'll be selling now in his in his store and in the the market. Hopefully he's expanding and things like that. But he just redid this label and he sent this to me last night as a surprise and said, uh, "If if you're cool with this, I'd like to I'd like to you know submit this label like it like it is." Uh, <laughs> it's got me on there. Bahama shirt. It's no. got me with the Tommy Bahama shirt, the baseball hat, the glasses. So yes, he, he sent that to me and said, you know, if you're okay with it, 
I'm like, are you kidding? This is the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> so I'm on there. That's me with the box. And of course, it's deer hammer. So then I, he, I'm boxing a deer. So oh, you know, oh. on the label. So awesome. do you also do you also do the Duluth Trading Company? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I think they stole his image. I think they did. Yeah. yeah. If they had bourbon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Aaron, Aaron has left us now. So gone completely he, now. Gone. All right, Steve, it's up to you. I, I think we scared. That's oh, that's the downside. We, we had two other new folks on there, and I think we lost them. They, they, they might have been scared of us. So, <laughs> um, I, Bill, I'm sorry, but I've I had voted for A, so I I, I think. Oh, we you said B? B. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> if I say B, it t- it ties, and we haven't even resolved anything. So I, I was going to say A, so I'll stick with that. Okay, uh, I picked A. Uh, I will tell you that uh, it's as close as can be, though, and uh, I really wish Aaron would have been here. We could have found out if it was official or not. But A is age stated. A is the the seven year old age stated, and B is the non age stated, the one that you hmm. find on the shelves today. Oh, so, so yeah, yeah. So, uh, and I like both of them. Uh, Bill d- Bill seems to like one over the other. I, I I like them both. Just I like one just a little bit better. So, but. Again, I'm not doing a blind, so that's that's tough to judge. Did that age statement uh, in, impact my taste at all? And sometimes it can. Sometimes it can. So I know we, we did a barrel pick today, and they're like, well, what information do you want to know? You want to know proof or age? or And we're like, no, we don't want to know any of that stuff. Right. Uh, we, we're, we just want to go in, go in totally blind. So that's what we did. So that's, that's the best way to do it. Blind taste testings are the best because it takes out so much – uh, preconceived stuff out of there. So, Bill, I got to ask you: Was it because it was a little spicier on B? I, I just, the horse. I, Sorry, I, I just liked it. Just, okay, just, just like I'm the, with you. I, I agree. I like the spice. It had a little bit of a kick to it, and I, I guess what sold me on the A was just that that little bit of a sweeter flavor. It wasn't the horse barn aspect. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't selling me at all. No, no. Uh, no. no. Bill was Bill was definitely like the spice of B. Sorry, <laughs> they need to start adding that to the label. Yeah, 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 that, that, yeah that'd be perfect. Wait, Steve's no, label or Justine's? Horse barn. <laughs> horse barn. Yeah. So genuine Kentucky, you feel like you're in a horse barn. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, there it is. So A ultimately did win. The age stated one, uh, but it's as close as can be. And I want to say. Maybe it's not even, uh, maybe it's a draw because, you know, we did have two more people on here that uh, didn't get to the voting time. So I don't know what would happen if they would have got to vote. So it's close. It's close enough that I feel like if you're watching this on the video portion, you need to try them yourself, make your own decision because it is literally that close and uh, you may like one over the other. And uh, the fact that uh, B is, is quite delicious as well is a good sign. They've, they've, they've yeah. taken the H statement off and it's not a bad product now by any means. It's right up there with, uh, with what was H uh, stated before. So we'll wrap this one up for the audience that'll be watching the video after the fact. Enjoy that. Uh, for the folks that are on here now, I'm going to stick around. We can talk bourbon, whatever you want to talk about for however long you'd like to talk. All right. Okay. <laughs>